56 years of coaching, 49 winning seasons, 24 PCL championships, 18 time coach of the year, and in 2016 named the National Federation of State High School Association Coach of the Year. We're talking about the one and only Dick Quartercrax. And while the name Coach Quartercrax is likely familiar to you, are you aware of the recently published book about his life, his faith, his family, and his basketball coaching career. I'm joined by the author of that book, Mindy Dreyer. Well, Mindy, it is an honor to have you with us today to discuss The King, the true story of Ohio's winningest high school basketball coach, Dick Kortokratz. Hi, Jennifer. Thank you so much for having me on today and helping to promote such an important book. Of course, we are talking today about the longtime Kaleida coach who still holds the record for the most wins in Ohio boys high school basketball, 890 wins. He retired in 2016. The Kaleida gym was named after him in 2017. And just a few weeks ago, he received the sixth annual Gene Steckshulde Award during Kaleida's basketball game against Wayne Trace. Now, Mindy, you happen to be Coach Kortokratz's daughter-in-law, but you are also a sports enthusiast, a journalist, and a writer. Was there one element that inspired you to finally sit down and write this book? What inspired me really is just knowing who my father-in-law is, Dick Kortokrax. Yes, he is an award-winning historian when it comes to high school basketball in the entire state of Ohio, winning more games than anyone with 890, but he's so much more than that. And after talking to my husband, Randy, Dick's son, and just learning all these different stories, things that happened to him along his life and in the path of his career, I just thought to myself, everybody needs to hear this. There is a story here that needs told. So one thing led to another, and I was just honored to be the one to tell his story. It's a story that starts back in 1933. That's when Richard Lewis Kortokratz was born, a resident of Ottoville. And while many would probably expect this book to talk mainly about basketball, and there is a lot of that in it, it takes the reader into Dick Kortokratz's life, through college, getting married, starting a family, and even going through the death of several family members. Author Mindy Dreyer says pulling it all together took some effort. You know, there were definitely memories that were um, kind of hard for me to talk to him about because, you know, we're talking about the death of his father, his son, his wife. That's not an easy thing for a daughter-in-law to bring to the forefront again, but yet he was so touched that this book was not just about his basketball career, that so much of it involves his family. And he was so, so extremely pleased with that. Um, it was just, it, it's who Dick Quartercrax is. Yes, a great coach, but he's such a family man. And no one really got to see that part of Dick until this book came out. And you realized, oh my gosh, he invested so much of his life, not just to basketball, to his faith and to his family. And so he was really glad that those instances, that those topics came up in this book. Mindy, I think it is great to have the family and life aspect in this book, but we can't talk about Dick without talking about basketball. In your opinion, who is Dick to boys basketball? Oh, Jennifer, that's a great question. Who is Dick Kordekrax to boys basketball? He is everything that is right with high school basketball. Um, at the very end of the book, I put a letter in that was written by a sports writer. And it, it says in that, that one of Dick's players scored his 1000th point. But this player never even knew that. The day that he found that out, that he scored this 1000th point was at his graduation when Coach Kordekrax, Dick handed him the ball. You never hear that happening anymore. Anymore, it's so much individualized, the game of basketball. People are keeping track how many points they need to get to that thousandth point. Dick taught so much about team ball. He didn't care about individual stats. And those days have gone by the wayside and it's too bad because basketball is extremely about team. It's not a secret that there were attempts to convince Dick to resign before it actually happened. So this book isn't complete unless we also talk about some of the small town strife that took place in his late coaching years. We all go through tough times. You know, adversity is a part of life for yourself, for me, obviously for Dick on the court and off the court, but he has such an inner strength and he was never going to stop. Even, even when there were people against him, who were ready for him to stop, who were ready for him to quit coaching. He didn't want to quit and he persevered on because again, that's who Dick is. And he always has said that if it wasn't for the devotion of his wife 
and of his sons and of his daughters and everyone else in his inner circle. I don't know if he would have kept coaching, but he had such a strong support group that it allowed him to coach for as many years as he did. And I would say that he still has quite the support group. Since releasing The King, how has the response been toward the book? Oh my gosh, the response has been incredible. I cannot believe how many people have reached out to me wanting a copy of this book. And not only that, especially back in Northwest Ohio, they want Dick to sign it. And Dick takes his time to sign every book, not just his name, because that's not Dick Hortacrax. He has to sign an individual message for all the people who wanted him to simply sign a book for them. So we're talking about people who he has known in his life forever, past players, coaches, family members, just fans of the game of basketball who followed Kaleida. Um, it's been so heartwarming to see so many people want to get this book and read about the King. Great to hear, Mindy. I'm happy to know it's being received so well. Well, thanks for doing this interview with us, and thanks for taking the time to write this book. Thanks so much, Jennifer. I appreciate it, and I will make sure to tell Dick that you said hi. Now, Mindy wants you to know that even if you think you know everything there is to know about Coach Dick Kortokratz, you will learn something new if you read this book. How can you get your own copy? Well, it's available on Amazon. Simply search the author's name, Mindy Dreyer, or the title of the book, The King, and the name Dick Kortokrax. Or if you are connected on social media with Mindy, she says you can order directly through her. And if you struggle to get the book through either of those methods, just call me here at TV44 and WOSN, and I will connect you with Mindy Dreyer.